You want to see something cool? I honestly thought I would have to do this with, like, an O-scope and everything. I did not expect this to work. And I just... Every now and then, you're just fucking around on the bench, and you just... You just get lucky. And this is one of those little bits of magic, and I wanted to share this with you guys. You can do this at home! So, I have a state-of-the-art. <laughs> it's probably 80 years old. Um, this is an old Weston, just a little 10-volt meter, right? Simple. Okay, and it's, it, it wants volts AC, but we're not giving it volts AC. You can just eat a dick. We're doing fine. Over here in this corner, we have just a solenoid. There's your model number. It's just some basic... I pulled it off the shelf, okay? Both of these were sent in by viewers like you. Thank you. Um, and then over here, paid for by viewers like you, is just a really shitty DC power supply, right? These are these are just Gualong Ding Dong. I get them off Amazon. I got a pair of them. These are my upgrade from that fucking thing, which is arguably higher quality, but I needed I needed this. So watch this closely. I'm, I'm shooting an episode on hysteresis. Um, you've probably seen it by now. It's out in the shore. But I, in, in here, in this moment, I shot that episode. Literally, it's still on the prompter. Okay. Yeah, this is welcome to behind the scenes. It's on the prompter right there and there. I'm in my old shop. Um, there's the script. So yeah. All right. I thought because I'm, I'm showing hysteresis in a coil, right? Now, hysteresis, if you haven't seen the video yet, is the delay between when you turn the power off and the magnetic field collapses out of a coil. There's actually a physical delay because for just a moment, we're storing that electrical energy in a magnetic field. And this is a whole really big, cool thing. We're going to do a lot of videos on it. We're going to talk all about it. You can see some of the things sitting on the bench here as I'm getting ready. Look at that. Three pole, four pole. This is going to be a thing. Okay, we got this piece of shit down here, but it'll work for a video. Um, and look, there's there's a hint at something coming in the future. But the delay is very tiny. Okay, it's, it's a really short delay. And I expected that I would need to, like, fuck around and dig up my O-scope. And I've got a shitty old Rigol that I've had for years. And I'm like, okay, it's going to be a whole thing. And I was trying to figure out how I was going to film the screen of the Rigol and the thing moving all and pain in the ass right and i can't just do this with like a fucking cheap meat because the delay on these is too big like this takes a second to do its thing so i was like fuck it i just i happen to have this meter just sitting on the bench i just chucked it in wired it on here like you can there's the entire wiring this is not a complicated schematic right so i'm gonna reach over here i turn the output on the meter pegs thing goes down right just what you expect now watch this. Pay attention to the delay between this and that, okay? Watch close. Do you see it? I'll do it again. Here we go. The meter moves before the thing. Now, yes, there is a little inertia here, right? Sure, that, that counts for something, but it's a tiny bit because there's a fucking spring. That's why we're only showing this on the off, because the spring would cause a delay. But really... Watch this. It works on the on, too. It's so fucking fast, but it's there. You can, it's, it's slow enough that we can perceive it in this medium. I made my whole fucking day right there. It's a whole day made. I'm so happy because this, I can show this, it's visual, it's simple, meter move, thing pop up, right? And I am, I'm so fucking jazzed, you don't know. So, yeah, that's just, it's my little moment of happy. <laughs> Every now and then, I get lucky making these fucking videos. Every now and then, I just get, you know, once, once in a great while, God smiles on you, and it just fucking works and i'm um, just yeah so just power supply an old analog meter and and a solenoid that's all you need you could do this at home hysteresis learn about it it's cool science and that's pretty cool